Hello to everyone watching this footage. Leviathan here again. And to start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers on board High Function and Autistic, obsessed with fiction, and I'm planning to make my own creative universe like the late Stanley did. I'll just cut to the chase. Carnotaur. Real name Aquis Sapiens Carcaradon. Scientific. Length 60 miles, weight unrevealed. Status villain, Queen of the Maconians. Base 7 Cs, Devault Earth. Intelligence, five brains. Behavior, relentless, destructive, and sneaky. She's virtually unpredictable. Lethality, she's the first to defeat both the Alpha Mer and Kygericus. Weaknesses, her soft underbelly is her potential weak spot. Powers, she has a shark body from the waist down, sharp teeth, and shark heads for hands. She has both gills and lungs to breathe above and below water. She swims at great speeds, has strong regeneration, can launch herself thousands of feet in the air and wields a series of serrated fins. Eyes deep red, hair black fins. Origin. One time, a team of scientists created a copy of the Alpha Mer and to use in order to protect all innocents from her. They gained samples of her DNA, merged them with that of a great white shark, and created a football-sized egg that they tossed into the ocean. After a week, the creature hatched and expanded to an enormous size, and Carnotaur soon ran rampant across Sydney. After a while, the Alpha Mer and Kaijirka showed up and attempted to destroy her, but they almost died until Megamate showed up and successfully defeated Carnotaur by using her radioactive beams onto her underbelly. Getting serious wounds and severe hemorrhaging, Carnotaur retreated into the ocean in order to heal herself. She eventually gestated the murderous Maconians, which are since a challenge for the Myrmians. Costume. She simply wears nothing, respectively. She doesn't need to wear anything, you know. She has gills, you know. Team Solitary, commands her Maconians, and other villains, or Inspiration, Merfolk, and Sharks. Here's the next character. Split. Real name, Janice Carson. Height, 20 feet. Weight 4 tons. Status anti hero and expert cheerleader. Base Chicago mobile. Intelligence 2.5 brains. Behavior woeful and optimistic. She's, she always wants to be popular. Lethality. She even gives Chimera the shivers. Weaknesses. She has bad anger issues. She has no healing factor. Powers. She has a great size and possesses 2 heads, 6 arms, and 4 legs. She also has high agility, martial arts, some self-resurrection, and is strong enough that even Pym struggles to escape from her. Eyes deep green, hair bright blonde and short. Origin. Janice Carson was an everyday high school cheerleader that wanted more popularity. One day she was captured and mutated by Gigantica in one of her attempts to receive in one of her attempts for world conquest, injecting Janice with a cell-splitting formula. When she awoke in her backyard, she found that she went through a big change. She's now 20 feet tall and possesses two heads, six arms, and four legs. When she went back to school, everyone rejected her and thus angered her. She eventually rampaged across Chicago until being defeated by Pym. She later apologized and became her part-time ally. After a while, Split decided to travel to Gynarmica to get some combat training from the heroic Hirikashiks, which was ultimately worth it. Costume. She wears her blue and yellow cheerleader uniform. Team. Solitary or with others. Orbs of Inspiration, cheerleaders, and cell splitting. Here's the last character. Weapon. Real name, none. Height and weight varied. Status, anti-hero and living weapon. Base, mobile. Intelligence, three and a half brains. Behavior. Sneaky and willful. He'll do anything to complete the missions that is eventually given to him. Lethality. He never wishes to be seen as harmless. Weaknesses. All his forms are flawed. Powers. He can change into any weapon he can think of, along with its strengths and weaknesses. He also has a mind of his own. Eyes and hair, none. Origin. After examining Cassandra in the living tank, Dark Pym decided to make an object that can become any weapon imaginable. After a while of the constructing, Dark Pym created a weapon that not only has that exact capability, but also has a mind of his own. Naming him Weapon, she commanded him to transform into a cosmic death ray to annihilate all life on the default Earth. 
After hearing about this, Gull decided to grow her hair enough to cover the planet. And when Weapon launched the beam, it struck her hair and ricocheted back, damaging his coordinates. Since then, Weapon would do all that's needed to keep from being damaged by any opponent, and is recently hired by Cassandra into becoming a member of the Living League. Costume, none. Team Solitary with the Living League and others. Original Inspiration, Weapons. Well, those are the three characters, and just so you know, this is my third attempt at this video, and I really hope that I'm making this worth it for you guys, you know. And if you guys want, you could like, subscribe, comment down below, and share if you want. It's your choice. You know how it is. Hope you guys enjoy the next month when the time is nigh, and until next time, Intent Mission.